everybody, this is Kaylee from Kaylin Plus Size Designer Boutique. On behalf of Kaylin Plus Size Designer Boutique and Kavista, we are very, very proud to showcase a interesting initiative, which is uh, Women Support Women. Today, we are very, very happy to invite Alison because uh, I have, I have, um, I have been looking out for female entrepreneurs, volunteers, anyone who has talents or business they wish to promote. But this time round is very interesting because Alison is also going for an upcoming charity or she calls it humanitarian trip to Cambodia. Kaylin Plus Size Designer Boutique is very, very happy to also be involved in this project by doing cash sponsors hence therefore in conjunction with sale with a cause uh, recently that's recently launched uh, we are very very proud that in some ways we can help and today i have Alison to come and she's coming over soon to talk about uh, this very very meaningful cause okay so hi Alison. hey everybody and uh, okay so let's start from the basics, I understand that you're going to Cambodia. Yes, um, this coming 13 to the 18th of October. Yeah. So it's happening in about a month's time. Mm. Okay. And uh, this time round, as many of you would have known by now, because we will have shown some snippets of the last year's trip. Yes. Uh, this time round, they're only going to Phnom Penh. Okay. And um, it's interesting because it is fully funded, fully supported by themselves. They, they, it's a group of five. Group of five. Last year we have a group of six, but then um, due to work and all, you know, so uh, one of our team member couldn't join us this year. Mm. So this year we only have five of us. Yeah. So, I mean, before this interview started, you actually were telling me that it's actually quite scary la, for females to go over because you all go on on your own there is no one who really no no leader no support there you all just pack up and go yes. right so i mean take this opportunity do you all need volunteers actually yes we do need volunteers i mean the more the merrier mm. of course um, we are actually looking at doing more things for the the people who need you know uh, in cambodia mm. um of course um, last year's last year was really horrifying oh yes because um the people there i don't know because um i mean maybe because we went to the villages you know um they are not from the city so probably maybe i don't know, like they are just so what's that called um when they know that people are coming to help them they are so desperate so they just dash over and you know like they they will just snatch anything from us yeah so we are actually looking for more males to actually join us this year mm -hmm. yes i mean you mentioned you want you hope to have more males. I just sp spoke to your leader mm -hmm. of this uh, self-funded, okay, no, no attached to any organ charity organization. Uh, he did tell me that it would be great if there's more males. But as you know that our database is mostly females. Mm -hmm. So if in any case, you couples are very keen in wanting to help out, um, I think it would be very awesome. Yes. Um, but I have to let you guys know, the whole trip is self-funded, self, the, the whole entire trip is borne by yourself. So yes. like for example, Alison, she's also paying for my own air ticket, accommodation, food, um, even for our driver as well. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I spoke to, what's his name, Jason, Jason. right? Yes. I spoke to Jason just now and um, it's very interesting. There are a um, demand and need to build toilets and he actually did a breakdown of the cost for me and I was pretty surprise la. it is not easy to build a toilet from bare land you know and they are going to but at the moment right now because due to lack of funds mm -hmm. lack of cash, cash donations mm -hmm. um, they are unable to do it and I thought it was pretty cool because they, they are still a bit lacking away from the fund the ideal amount mm, and if should that be a case where y'all cannot hit the amount, right? What will y'all be doing with the money? Okay, if in any case that we can't hit the amount to build at least one toilet, we will actually be going to villages, mm. orphanage, um, non-profit ones, <laughs> of course, um, and also um, to those flooded areas to actually help those villagers who actually really need help. Because last year when we were there, um, so this, um, 
I don't know what's the street name of the, the place, but um, our driver brought us there. Mm. Um, the whole village is actually flooded and also the people, they have to bring out their, their, their own um, things, like their clothes, everything, and they have to sleep on the street. Oh. So for example, on the street itself, they were just at the site. Um, later on, I will share some video with um, KD. Mm. So actually, she can um, post it on her, <coughs> her, her platform to actually show you guys mm. what we were going through last year. Yeah, it was yeah. very interesting because she was sharing with me that she actually brought four, the team actually brought 400 kg worth of clothes and toys and stationeries and whatnot that they can think of. I went to the trip recently to Philippines, mm -hmm. right? And I lugged, uh, I lugged only about eighty kilos, and I nearly died. There. <laughs> and then you all have four hundred kilos, yes. and it's amazing. It's really very nice to know that there are people who are all out to give and help. And just curious, do you need other than cash donations? Mm -hmm. Do you need? baby's clothes this time around? Um, yes, of course. Last year when we went to the village, there was a lot of kids. Um, at a, a, a rough gauge, they are about three to five years old, or even um, kids in the orphanage. Yeah, they, oh, are, okay. they are, are big girls. Going to orphanage yes, la. we are going to orphanage this year as well. Okay. Yeah. So um, we are also going to new orphanages. We are not just going back and forth to the same old one because I doubt that they really, really need us to go there every year to give them clothes. Oh, I think yeah. they will be more so, than happy lah. Yeah, we will be going there but of course we are going to new ones lah. Okay. So the other orphanages can, you know, get help from us as well. So, it's just a recap. They need clothes, they need baby clothes. They don't really mind female or male, yeah, right? No, well, go toys? Toys, of course. Yeah, they love last toys. Year, huh? Last year, we have so many toys. We have about seven big cartons of toys. Mm. And it's really sad to not give the kids toys because um, when I was giving out the toys, that, that's the real incident that happened last year. So this two kids were standing in front of me and I was holding on to the last piece. Oh dear, this, this, so this, this pains choose, me. Yes, this pains so me, I, have I to cannot. choose to give either one. So after I gave the kid, right, I ran on to the bus and then I start crying. Yeah, oh. I, know, I know how it feels. And, and we always talk about it, especially when I came back from the Philippines trip, mm -hmm. right? And only, honestly, only those who has been to similar trips will truly understand what it is to give. And when you come back to Singapore, you realise that we are very, very fortunate. Yes, um, my nephew, my nephew has, is very blessed, you know. I'm sure your relatives' kids are very blessed. Mm -hmm. And um, we do need more clothes, baby clothes. Uh, we are not actually looking for infants, no, right? No, we are not, we are trying not to. And I want to make an additional note to it. Um, I hope for those who are keen in doing the donation, the clothing donation, please vet through the clothes first because these girls, this team will be re-sorting out. Come on, let's face it, when we are giving back to the society, let's give it in the right way, in a nice way. So, we have, uh, my side, mm -hmm. I have received stained clothes, soiled clothes. Um, I actually rejected them, I actually threw them away because you want to light up somebody's lives and smile and yeah. not make them feel that they are second best or third best just because you gave them a, a sweat clothes. Yeah. So if in any case you want to donate, um, we will tell you more information on how you can do the cash donation, mm -hmm. how you can do the clothes donation and um, there will be a collection point, right? Or um, Actually, what you can do is you can just give me a DM me or um, my friend Jason, um, we will drop down his um, Instagram um, handle on Katie's um, you know, um, platform and then you can just give us a text. Mm. So we will arrange for someone to pick up from your place <coughs> or even myself, I can go and collect if it's very near my, my place. Yeah. yeah, she has an e-scooter so yeah. she can only scooter, okay? <laughs> the rest are really, I, I mean, it would be great if you guys can bring over to them. Because at the end of the day, if you can help, go all the way. It's really very sweet and it, it, the feeling is indescribable. So I really encourage you guys to help out, okay? Um, the last thing before we're going to talk to something else, mm -hmm. uh, I just want to add on, uh, as mentioned by Jason, this trip is fully borne by individuals, okay? And he did mention this trip is not Hilton hired 
Oh star. no, it's not a five star thing. You know, last year, um, one of our crew member. So um, the places that we go, like what I've mentioned just now, it's like flooded areas. So last year, the flooded um, village that we went to, the flood was up to our knee. And then huh. when you walk in, yes, when you walk in, you can feel like plastic bags going onto your legs, you know, all the dirt, the algae, this and that. So one of our crew members, she, she just happened, she's so unlucky, she just happened to um, get infected by um, hand foot mouth disease. So what was so lucky was because last year was our first trip. So we actually want to get insured, so we actually get insurance to actually cover us. So yeah, thank God. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you don't expect to be so luxurious. I think anyone when you hear the word hand foot mouth disease of being sick, right, will be like, ah, no way, not for me. Um, that is why it takes a lot of courage and it only takes a few brave ones to really to really embark this journey. Uh. I mean, mm -hmm. even for myself, when Alison told me about this trip, right, I'm really having second thoughts because I I need to... I'm, I'm scared! Who will not be scared? But Alison and her team is not are not scared, you know. And the amazing part is, I uh, understood briefly that one is a vet. A vet. Oh, one of our crew members is a vet. One is uh, Jason is an interior designer. He plays paintball. So um, what's going on is his paintball team is also um, helping us to you know get funds for this awesome. um, for this event that we are going this um, coming October. And um, previously during um, July, we also actually have a booth. So I actually did um, about two hundred pieces of friendship bands to actually. Um, for people to donate lah. So when they donate a certain amount or a small amount, they will actually get a small little, you know, a token from us. Yeah. Okay, that's so sweet of you guys. But are you still selling the friendship to friendship? Oh, uh, we still have a bunch left. So anybody who who, who don't mind, <laughs> who wants to get the friendship band, you you know, you can still let us know. It's not really about the friendship band, right? No, it's, it's not it's really not, about the like physical a, thing. Yes. It's more like. Because I donated, I received this friendship band as a as a remembrance la, that yes. I did something, yes. you know. And so I actually did for all my crew member last year. Mm. So it's like something to remember of. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> eh? Okay, so before we go on to the oh, next... Oh, yeah, wait. Oh. We also have another crew member who is um, called Kelvin. His huh. mom is actually making bags, handmade bags to actually oh, sell. Okay, yes, okay, okay. At about, um, at about $10 to $12. Handmade bags as in crochet? No, she made a few. I will send you photos later. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you can, you know, follow Katie. Or follow her. <laughs> uh, we will be giving you more information about this meaningful video, okay? And, and all the information that was uh, provided by Alison. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, I need to stress, as instructed by Jason, this is a self-funded, self-volunteered. It's not an organisation. And uh, remember, when should you want to volunteer and vi uh, join them because they are lacking members right now. They lack manpower to bring the things over. Uh, last year was 400 kilos of stuff, you know. And mm, look yeah. at her size and my size. You know, you can tell. So I think it's, it's, it's good if you guys and you and your husband or you as a male who wants to come because I think you are lacking males. males. Yes, this um, year we have three female and two males only. Yeah, not enough. Yeah. La, and so. last year we encountered pickpockets oh. and yeah, it's very dangerous. It's really not, not funny. La, but yeah. uh, all goes out because of the word love and I'm very sure you guys know what it is like uh, to to give back and you want to give more this is a very good opportunity to give to give back and give yes. more la. so on my part on Kaylin's part we are very very fortunate to be able to to have a business mm -hmm. where we can help you la, in a sense Thank la. You so, much. Uh, so like I mentioned just now the mm -hmm. sale with a cause partial of the proceeds will go to various of uh, charity organizations part of the proceeds will be giving to Alison. Um, they, she, I will liaise with her lah on behalf of this uh, group of people. And um, what about yourself? Are you doing okay. anything or not? Mm, okay, what's so special about myself is because I'm a freelance makeup artist. Uh -huh. and I actually do nails, nails and lashes. At the same time, I'm also doing henna brows. So, um, you see her brows is um, just done one there. Yes. I think it's very nice. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So for um, every surfaces that I done, uh, I do for anyone. Um, actually, it starts from this year lah, start of the year. I have already been posting, and I have got a huge number of customers who actually come in to 
to you know to do their lashes and other services just to actually help to donate and some of them actually on top of whatever they pay they still you know top up to donate to the the, the Cambodia you know this coming trip it's very mm. awesome uh, but before we can go on mm -hmm. to talk about what Alice Beauty that's a company name uh, are going to do for the trip for the Cambodia trip tell me what is your strength in your business like I know you're pretty strong in your brows right and mm. brows or lashes brows <laughs> brows I remember it's brows and for makeup um, yes brows but lashes wise uh, depending because some people most of my customers they come to me they don't ask me for like the vava boom kind of lashes. They don't want. Yours the, is considered vava boom. Uh, mine is considered quite thick already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did it myself. Yes, it's very hard to do. I, I took four hours to do my own lashes. I, how yes. are you gonna do it like that? Yes, I'm okay. gonna do it like this, in Farah. Mm -hmm. And I have a question to ask you. Since we're at this, right? A lot of our customers are very shy. Mm -hmm. Are very. They're just shy lah. Basically, mm -hmm. they they just want to cover as much as they can. Uh, Why? Well, it is of such lah because they are just afraid that people will laugh at them, mm -hmm. people will mock them. So, through your services, in your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. What makes? What do you think you can contribute? Not we're not not, not talking about sales ah. Like for myself, right? I always believe that through Kayleen. I dress them up to feel confident. Mm. So for your case, how do you think you can contribute in making them feel like I feel better? Do you think it's oh. the brows? It's or do you the, think it's the lashes or the makeup? It's actually the frame of the whole face. It's not oh, just it's, it's the whole just, package. Uh. Yes, it's not just brows, you know. Okay. Usually um, if you're talking about framing of the face, it's actually your blush, your eyebrow, you know, your lashes and your lip. Oh. Yes, and of course the whole skin, you know. Okay, but they only have five minutes a day. Of course, you know, five minutes you can do so much, you know. Okay, that yeah. is why people invented eyelash extensions because mm. you wake up like this. Painful or not? No, you don't feel anything. Okay. You see, you can touch it. Cannot, cannot. You I can I... pull. You see, it won't come off. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I make up. I draw my own brows, but. I, I will mm -hmm. engage your service soon. A lot of people will find that doing makeup is a waste of time mm. and you know, you have to wake up half an hour earlier or sometimes they, they will say one hour but usually for myself, okay, if I don't have my lashes and my brows on, what I do is I only take about 15 minutes to finish on my makeup. So usually I will just put on my skincare mm. and then my base which is my foundation or BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. After that, I will curl my lashes, draw my brows, and then lipstick. That's all. I think. I think the the bottom line is when you step out of a house, you feeling have to look confident. Yeah, feeling confident. You, a lot of things can can be done. Mm -hmm. Somehow, magically, it's it's more smooth sailing. You know, it's not just only makeup, even your hair do as well. Some people, they want to use the hair to cover the whole face. You know, when you cover up, you you, you are totally like, you know, people can feel the negative, you know, the energy you feel from the, you. You feel that, felt that too? I, I feel that, yes. Yeah, because yesterday, it just so happened, my mm -hmm. girlfriend and I were talking about hairstyles and um, it's very interesting how the hairstyle actually somehow reflects your personality yes, as well. Yes. So I think it's interesting that we have a professional who can help us and I think I think the keyword is sharing information. Mm -hmm. So for her case she's very strong in her brows. And it's not it's not tattoo, oh yours no, is drawn on or henna. Henna is yeah. uh, it will last you more than two weeks, two weeks or more than two weeks. So depending this on is how henna? henna I had embroidery on, uh, I did with Bimiri, mm. I mean, you know her, right? I know her, yeah. Yes, she is very good with brows as well. Yeah, but hers is uh, embroidery. Embroidery. Alison's uh, strength is actually uh, henna. So henna, if you guys, you guys should know that it's temporary. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How long does it last, ah? Uh, depending two weeks to you know a month depends on if you go and rub it all the time you know if you keep rubbing it when you wash your face or anything yeah if you leave it as it is it can last you quite a while mm, okay yeah. that's pretty awesome so back to gearing back to Cambodia trip what are you gonna do what, um, what are you going to contribute 
I mean, Kelly is doing something already. Yes, I'm going to contribute partial amount of whatever my earning is to um, help these people who need, you know, in Cambodia. And at the same time, I'm also going my, myself with my team to actually go down there to help them. Um, it's if you when you are there, you can really feel, you know. I know. Yeah. Uh, every heart. time I go back, I feel like crying. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, my eyes are swollen, <laughs> but I come back filled. Yeah. My heart is very filled. Correct. And I think I really encourage, since you guys need volunteers, uh, I really encourage you guys to speak to your family members, your brother, or whoever la, that you can think of, mm -hmm. to actually want to consider. It, it's about, I, I've checked the tickets, it's not too bad. Think about it this way, uh, a getaway to Bangkok, alright, it's almost enough to mm -hmm. light up many people's life, yes. you know, or even a trip to Genting. Because Probably. I'm sure you're going to spend, yeah. right, spend money and on what not, right? Mm -hmm. And this money can help them. And yes. I think it's amazing. Like, this this is uh, only those who went and experienced will know what we're talking about. Yes. So I'm going to wrap it up now. I'm going to do a recap one more mm -hmm. time. So today we are talking about Alison's uh, business, Ellie's Beauty, and her contribution to the upcoming Cambodia trip together with uh, Kayleen as well. She does need volunteers, preferably male. Uh, if not, it'll be okay if it's a couple or brothers or sisters. I mean, we are open to females as well, you know. Oh, but be prepared now. Nah. It's yeah. a lot of... Uh, a lot of muscles. Sweating. sweating and, uh -huh. uh, it's not like going there for fashion show. No fashion know? show. No fashion show. Yeah. Don't... Yeah. Can wear Kaylin clothes lah, but don't stain, can? Yeah. Because our clothes are very nice. <laughs> don't don't stain. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe I just said that. Um, okay, actually, um, if you're talking about dressing, right, we actually do print out um, two um, dry fit shirt, shirt for our team members. So every of us have um, um, a rounded tee and a collared tee, which uh, also have all our sponsors um, company names printed mm. on. We are going to include myself and Kayleen's um, company logo as well this year. We have Gen K coming out on board as well, oh, which we sure. just got the information. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any company want to tap on, yes. they look to you. you they can, look for yes, Alison, yeah? Can also. And uh, then they also, you guys also need cash mm. um, donations. donations. Clothes donation, preferably 2 to 5, mm -hmm. H2 to 5. And um, even if you have bags that you don't want, you know, toys. You can, yeah, toys as well. The kids love toys. The kids love yeah, toys. They love the one toys. they went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we'll be we are good here. So all the best Thank to the so upcoming trip. I cannot go. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't explain to you why I can't go. But then I uh, understand. <laughs> so I wish you all the best for Thank the you trip, so much. and also all the best for your business. Mm -hmm. I hope through this video, more and more people will know about your brand. Thank you so much. And Kate. then through their their business, mm -hmm. you can use partial of the proceeds to further enhance this uh, charity organization. All right, we are signing off now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.